stream, Antonio. Hello, stream. Uh, can you hear me? Is that good? Compared to the, yeah, there we go. All right, uh, this is Chapel Thrills, Colin Benoit edition. I'm Hi-Fi, and I will be commentating this winner's round one doubles match between um, Twisty and Twisty's brother, uh, the Jewish team, versus these other two guys who, I don't know, Chanel and Subi. Actually, I think I've seen Subi before. I think Subi goes to locals, right? Yeah. Do you want a chair? You know the greens, bro? Huh? Do you want a chair? I mean, I might, but not right now. All right. I also have uh, Chi on the mic here. Hello. Fox Falco against who? I didn't see who they were playing. If you ain't here, there's still time to come in. There's like three hours left until single or Yeah, three hours left until single starts. Oh, yeah. If you're listening to this, you should just be here. Yeah, this is actually be. turning out to be a pretty good thrills. We have UCF on pretty much every setup. Wait, where's Slip and Tylenol? Slip has to do military stuff, and Chris is coming for singles. Oh, Chris he might not come. All right, All right, yeah. Oh, Marth okay. Samus. Marth Samus. I imagine. <laughs> I imagine Marth Samus is one of the Later. worst teams. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Like I two, can't think of a win condition for them. Two support characters. All right. Well, up the out of shield is a thing. It's yeah. Supposed to be good against spaces. Fox Falco, ubiquitous. Pretty much, if the if blue team just holds center, they're not gonna lose. Yeah, I agree. With like, that. If, like having stage against. I mean, they're already doing a really good job of keeping red team split. Yep. And you know, not really like. Samus and Marth can support each other in the first place, but if they're on opposite sides of the stage, they absolutely can't do anything to do that. Good lasers there to threaten Samus' recovery, but this is a good 2v1 so far. Nice. Yeah, this is a very good 2v1. And it, they put it, on like 94 damage? And very mindful by uh, Falco to see if he could get anything against recovering Samus. Because it's you don't totally want to leave offstage characters alone. You want to be aware if you can kill them, but yeah, mostly focusing on the 2v1. Surprised that Fox didn't go over there to help his teammate, but I guess the Falco's already at a high percent, so whatever. Oh, that's rough side B. So, the game looks kind of even by the score. That'll give Blue Team a slight lead, though. The control of the game's still in, so firmly in Blue Team's favor. I know, it just so. seems like they're, oh, we get a shield break. How do you, shield break in doubles, and they're not going to do anything. They're Two just going to leave them. And he, he's not mashing out. Yeah, I wonder if he knows. So when you get your shield broken, you can mash out of it just like mashing out of grabs, and the higher percent you are, the faster you mash out. So it's like the opposite of grabs in that sense. Well, but stocks are even now again. You should be compulsively mashing if you get shield broken for whatever reason. I feel like blue team. That's a really unfortunate uh, SD by the fox right there. I think blue team's sort of trying to play with their food right now and just go for combos. But yeah, I think they could really just—they're sort of abandoning their just holding center. Like there, the Falco should be. I mean, he's not going to clean up that edge guard against Samus, probably, so he should be helping the Fox out. But right. Fox player kills Marth. Oh. oh Samus could have killed Falco there with a like a ledge hop. I always feel like there. with double support combinations, you have to hit every edge guard. Like yeah. there's no there's no other option. Because you can't just get kills outright. Yeah, and in doubles, like the neutral, it doesn't. Have as Ooh, much of an that impact, that I guess. A really good edge guard by Samus. Or it's like winning neutral isn't the no payoff one. isn't as huge, I it, guess. Yeah, just because it's like it's like easier to win neutral, I guess. Or like losing neutral isn't as bad if your teammate's aware of what's going on. So this is a pretty much impossible oh. for Samus, but oh, oh, oh. and the fox there edge guards his teammate. All right, so now very doable. I believe this is Twisty's fox. Oh, that was um, sick. Everyone in NC sucks against Samus, so I don't know how good this Samus is, but they certainly have the matchup advantage. FD, not a great stage for Samus as the Fox can start juggling, but... Not seeing a lot of missiles, as I say that. 
Sam Samus is kind of just trying to space, wave dash, you know, look for... Normal Samus things. <laughs> normal Samus things, but, you know, lasers are good too. Uh, Fox is clearly not aware of what to do and is sort of just trying to stay safe, which I think is fine as a character like Fox in matchups you don't know, but this could be it. Oh, smash, yeah. yeah. And so, he's scared to go to the ledge. Wow. wow, and red team steals that. All right. <laughs> this overlay. <laughs> it's, it was a great overlay. Back to FD. What do you think of the stage pick? Um, I think it's fine for the spacey team. Yeah, they were doing fine for most of the game. They just sort of let it go by not playing their game. Yeah, they kind of killed each other a bit at the end. And really, if you're going to play this kind of like hold center to 1v1 style, you really shouldn't be killing each other. Yeah. Like, you should really commit to just not even trying to do intricate teams things. Especially against like Marth Samus. Like, you can kind of just outplay them. It's Fox Falco. But, um, Samus should be alive here. This is a good, uh, stock by the Falco. Yeah, big thing in teams, I think, is when, well, especially with Samus, is that once you hit her off the stage, you just go after the other dude, because, like, she can't right. credibly threaten you while that's happening. Yeah, it takes her a long time to get back, and when she does get back, it's not like, like, what's she going to do, ledge hop there? I mean, she's not really going to mess you up really bad if you're not paying attention. Yeah. See, right now, they should be, yeah, there's Falco like, yeah, should, like, because he's ledge. just not going to be able to kill Samus here. Okay, well, so actually, really I didn't look at the percent. At that percent, it's a bit different because, like, if strong bear will kill, then just do it. Then just do it. But that a, a backer is a good sign from the Falco. Like, just again holding the side of the stage. It's nice. Oh, uh, too too right. many grabs from the Samus player. Grab is a really good mix-up, especially on spaces, but. It is still Samus grab. I mean, and in teams really also the value of the grab goes down. Oh, Ooh, what a charge shot. So, uh, Spaces are kind of living a long time. Like, Falco was at 150 and Fox was just over 160. So this is a big issue for double support teams, because you just can't kill. You need right. to get your edge guards. And I really think that they're, oh, that's going to kill at 99. Such is life in the Samus world. No, but it's Samus. She's so heavy. Like, Fox is... Oh, I, I Fox. think she has the Yoshi thing where she's, like, where she Floaty dies... but heavy. Yeah. Yeah. She dies unexpectedly early to up matches. That makes sense. All right, like, right here, I don't think edge guarding the Samus is yeah, going to accomplish all. anything. Especially when you get the Martha Burner's jump. On FD, no platforms. Yeah. Can't do anything. But, uh, anyways. Okay. Stocks are even. Even stocks, but blue team. Okay, blue team with a pretty sizable lead here. But they kind of had this last game, I think. Uh oh. There's like a little too much playing by the edge when it's not going to pay off, even if it works out, I think. Yeah, Mart's dead, 100%. All right, Sam's so, so this should be. Th there should be no issues here for blue team. Yeah, they have a stock to, they have the stock to spare. I'd like to see more grabs in general from both of them, actually, because they're really having a hard time dealing with Samus just holding shield. Yeah. So the obvious answer to that is you grab more. But like here, they're they're like not even trying it. They just keep throwing out hitboxes. And through attrition in a 2v1, you'll win eventually. But not for, optimal. For game three, it's like, I wonder if they're going to adjust to that. Uh, okay. I think the other thing that's good, well, on this stage again, especially, is that like once you get a grab, like on Samus, she can't land. Like she has no platforms. What is she going to do down there? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Samus has a really hard time coming down against a lot of characters. Okay, so game three, where do you think red team is going to go, and what kind of strategy do you think they should be? So employed? I, th I think blue team should actually ban Yoshi's here, because I feel like that's a stage where the chaos of the level will not work in double spacey's favor against a team like Marth Samus, which they're going to be throwing out a lot of F smashes and down smashes just to like put hit boxes out. Yeah. And they'll, that'll randomly kill blue team. So assuming they can't do that, I guess Dreamland, right? Yeah. Survivability. I, I, I don't want Stadium. Right. Battlefield's okay. Okay, so they banned Dreamland. 
I think Yoshi's is a better idea. Interesting. Okay. Um, Battlefield, wow. All right. So not terrible. I mean, Battlefield could be kind of a comfort pick, but I don't feel like it really confers a huge advantage either way. Um, actually, the platforms might really help Blue Team. I'm kind of surprised they, well, they did the salty run back, I'm pretty sure, to FD. But yeah. otherwise, I would have been surprised they even went there. Cool. So the Red Fox, it's. I think this is really going to hinge on how good Red Fox is. Because if he can hang with uh, the blue team's spaces, then it could be really good. But if not, he's kind of just going to get destroyed in ways that, even if you're a lower skilled player as Marth, you can kind of get away with not <laughs> just getting wrecked by Fox Falco, you know? But as of right now, pretty big lead for blue team. Yep. It's been hard for red team to really establish control, and they're hitting each other a little bit more now, like with that missile. Yeah. I feel like the spacing, even though Fox's range isn't huge, his speed makes it so that he has to, like, you have to really space around him correctly. Mm -hmm. I think the thing about Fox Sam's is that they have to kind of play at a range because yeah, they I mean, really do. It's like I think that's like general like floaty, floaty fast faller combinations. Like yeah. have to play like at a sort of a range from each other because they have they have a hard time falling up immediately. So all right. Good uh, Falco Nair. Falco Nair is really underutilized as a kill move, actually. <laughs> Extender. Yeah, this isn't really working out for Red Team simply because the Red Fox isn't getting kills that he wasn't able to get as Marth. Like, he's not getting Shine Gimps, he's not getting ups oh, that up smash. So this is pretty much over. Yeah, I feel like red team could be a little, standing to be a little more coordinated at, at that farther range. Like, have the Samus pick, like pick her spots better, and then get the one hit, and then use that time to watch the fox and see what the fox wants to do. Yeah. But uh. All right, I think I have a set. All right. Antonio.